Okay, so for the basics part two, we will be looking at the following two functions. We'll keep the first one the same as in part one. But now we will have negative 2x minus 50.45, okay? And we don't see it here, okay? So the main thing we'll be focusing on right now is how to zoom, um, zoom out, zoom in, and many other f features with the zoom button, okay? So if you go to menu and we go to window zoom, you can see there's a lot of options here, okay? So the first one I'll do is window settings. So you can change that to negative 15 on the X. You can maybe want this to go to 20. Y, let's go to negative 10, and Y max 10. Okay, let's see if that helps us out. Not really, we still don't see it, okay? So that can be a little cumbersome to keep on looking if you're, if you're not really sure what to do. Okay, so another thing you can do is you can speed this up by simply just holding on, you see this little grab button here? Just grab onto the axes and then just move it, okay? And you can move, zoom in or zoom out. And that might be a quicker way to see what's happening here. So already we can see there's a point of intersection down there. Let's grab the y-axis and move that up or down. This may be one of the easiest ways to, to navigate through here, okay? Um, so there are other options. Let's go to menu, window zoom. Okay, let's go back to the standard. So this takes you right back to how it looked at the beginning. Okay, also let's look at zoom out. Okay, so you could do this. Now seeing where is the center, well let's just say here. Um, you can pick anywhere though. And let's just keep clicking until we see that intersection. So that, that suffice, we can stop there. Um, but there's a lot of other options like zoom in, zoom box. So zoom box is Kind of cool. You can just pick the top corner. So say the corner is over here and we want to go to this corner. Um, so we just see that part of the screen. There's also uh, zoom in, which is pretty self-explanatory. Let's do quadrant one, very common in a physics context where maybe you're just looking at the first quadrant. Okay, so let's click on that. Maybe this is time, which is only positive. So we don't really care about the negative so much. Okay, and let's go. One more that I'll show you is zoom fit. This is kind of useful. It can, if you have really big numbers, it might help um, to, to show you where it is, like generally, but it's usually not perfect. Let's see what it does right now. Okay, you can see right here, this didn't work out well. Okay, and we wanna move the screen that way. So another way you can do is just grab, grab anywhere here, like say this part of the screen, and just move it to the left, and it does work, okay? Now another option is you can just double click this at the bottom. Okay, and change that manually to say negative 50, and it will work that way. Okay, so we don't need to go so high. Maybe we just want that to be five. You can see that's working. Okay, so that will just zoom in and out, um, and it's working. The, the last main thing I'll show you for now is how do we determine the intersection between these two lines, the intersection point. Well, let's go to Menu, Analyze Graph, Intersection. Okay, and just lower bound, so to the left of that, and then to the right, and there's the intersection point. Now, on yours, you may not see so many digits, okay? Maybe you only see 12.9. And if you want to see more, just go to Menu, Settings, and change this from Float 3 to something higher. Why that might be relevant is you may want to see more digits, and you don't want it to just round too early in your answer. You want it to round perhaps only at the end. So if you want to copy and paste that, you can do Control-C. Let's go to this screen here, and then Control-V. Okay, and now we actually are using that number, which is a little bit more precise than 12.9. Okay, um, okay, so let's go back to this screen. The last thing I wanna make sure you know how to do is use this little grab, grabbing hand icon, get the point and make sure you know how to move that. So tr give that a try, see if that works. And yeah, that's all for the basics part two.